on this occasion, some there's dealing with the coronavirus, there may be some fiscal stimulus called for. It's a very unusual situation in some ways. We think about demand shocks and supply shocks, okay? Demand shock, yeah, monetary and fiscal policy, sure. Supply shocks, it's micro. Um, the trouble is with this one, it's both. Yeah. And uh, I think policymakers are still trying to figure that out. The result will be a lot of volatility in the markets because people don't know what they're doing. Do you think, and again, we can debate Japanese levels of debt to GDP compared with, say, German levels of debt to GDP, uh, two huge trading surplus nations with two very different sovereign debt profiles. Is there a path between the two which you think the world should negotiate which is higher than the current level of spending or lower than the current level of spending? Oh, I think for both Japan, well, certainly for Germany, there's plenty of fiscal space. Uh, we know that, everybody knows that, even German policymakers know that. The German public doesn't quite understand that in general. Uh, Japan is a different story. Um, Japan, although most of that debt is held by Japanese, you have to keep that in mind. Uh, so it's not as if they're exposed to some and foreign so This is my final point. This yeah. is the whole Reinhardt and Rogoff, probably Porter's argument as well, that if your debt is held by a domestic captured audience, it doesn't matter what the level is. It only matters no. when there is an international investor who can leave the party. That is, a, that is the main story, yes. I think that's right. Richard, let's just pick through any potential fiscal spending program because yeah. we have seen crises before. And in those situations, it was about getting consumption back up and running. So certain demographics that you would target trying to get that initial yeah. pop to, to lift GDP. And then you'd see a spill across to other areas. I mean, back in the financial crisis, it was tackling the banks with equity stakes, that sort of thing. It was where you saw some of the intervention. This time round, if you were to come up with a formula to have the first reaction, where GDP starts to respond on the back of coronavirus, say there's been lockdowns in cities, like what we've seen in China. Where do you target that stimulus? It has to be micro-targeted. But what's micro-targeting? Well, towards specific sectors. Uh, and in a way, monetary policy might be the right way to go at that. For example, loan programs for specific sectors of the economy. Take Italy, where we have this um, a major problem this, that has ramifications well beyond Italy, by the way. What we now know, we didn't know before, is that Italy is a key part of the supply chain for Northern Europe. Uh, and if these Northern Italian firms aren't producing, uh, the effects ripple on. So targeted fiscal measures towards those sectors that need it. You can't do much about aviation, for example. Uh, that's just gonna be hit, is being hit. Uh, but you can do something about firms in particular, firms that um, are hitting liquidity problems, uh, firms that uh, need assistance uh, and in order to keep production going. It's the supply chain issue here that I think has to be dealt with. And you can do some of that with fiscal. But, but general fiscal stimulus, uh, we are going to, we're seeing a slowdown in consumer demand. Yeah, what are you going to do? Trump. Tax cuts? Tax cuts. Come on, give me a break. That is not, not, not the way to go. Uh, and it will not have a significant short-term effect, which is what you want. I mean, what I think most people believe is that this is going to be a V-shape pattern. The V, the, the bottom of the V will probably be in the second quarter. Then there'll be a recovery. How deep the V is, we don't know. But tax cuts are not going to have any immediate effect uh, to do, do something about that V. Hi, I'm Giovanna Bersecchi, and thank you for watching. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more from CNBC International. Thank you for watching.